now 2.37, we've been going about five hours. We're about to start drilling. And uh, I think I've run into a problem already because he hasn't done anything yet. Oh, hose. All right, last tank, we almost ruined it. G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, we're gonna be finally drilling the tanks on this rack to hook them up to a central sump. We've got a lot to do today, so let's just get straight into this week's video. Okay guys, the day has come where we're gonna be draining the tanks out, moving fish out of these aquariums, and popping them in other water containers so we can drill the tanks. So the thought is we're gonna be catching fish, popping them into containers like this, and we don't have enough containers but I do have enough spare tanks on the sump system on this rack over this side of the wall. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna catch the Ricardi out, we're gonna catch the Kalinga Coles and Goddess Lars, the Brevis Trio and their Fry, pop them in the sump system for the time being. The Guppies and all the Bristol catfish will go into the tubs, they're a lot hardier, they'll be okay in these tubs, and then we'll be able to drill all the tanks and move the stands around to make room for the plumbing that will go in between here. And, Hopefully it will all work. <laughs> uh, first things first, catch the fish, pop them into the sun system. Here. 
and the light bearer is there, uh, and they're going to be going into two drums each type of guppy uh, because the amount of Java moss that I have uh, is just basically choking uh, almost all the guppies that are in one, so we're splitting it up into two drums. And then Adam's taking them home there for him, for giving them to him uh, for helping me today, and uh, I won't have any more guppies, thankfully. So, pretty happy about that. Now, once all the water's drained out of these tanks, we can start finally drilling them. How long do you reckon we've been going for so far? Three hours? Probably about three hours so far, Adam reckons we've been going. And we haven't even been able to drill one tank yet, but we're doing this in a methodical manner. Uh, we want to catch all the fish as much as possible, and then start the siphons well, rather than doing a siphon per tank and catching fish per tank. Uh, we're doing it all in one go. Uh, catch all the fish out, siphon all the tanks, and then we'll drain all the tanks. Uh, and then we will uh, drill all the tanks after that. So the thing that we need to be careful of is where all the airline hoses are going to. All the tanks are numbered. Uh, they're numbered on my airline system, so we're going to be doing one tank at a time. We're also going to be moving the racks out a little bit, and this rack is going to go back a little bit to the left to make room for the plumbing that goes in the middle here. And should be good. So they're getting there. You see me using two hoses for the siphons. It speeds things up a little bit. And uh, once we're done, once we've drilled all the tanks, I only have to set up four tanks this afternoon. Minimum of three. Uh, so I'll have my peppermints in one tank, albino bristlenose in another, uh, long fin bristlenose in one tank, and then my short fin bristlenose in another tank. So it's all getting there. Um, and yeah, thankfully I had some spare tanks on the subsystem on this side uh, because that really came in handy to moving the sequence back into this system just temporarily. Anyway, it's all happening. Meanwhile, while all this is happening, my Neonopologus Leilupi have spawned my first initial pair. They've spawned again. They've been waiting almost a month since their last spawn. Oh, actually, it's been longer than that. Uh, I took the fry out because they looked like they were going to spawn about a month ago. I took the fry out. They've been without any fry for over a month. And today, of all days, they've spawned. And it's, it's just, I really wanted to film uh, that activity for you guys for an upcoming video. So I've got some footage of their spawning. Uh, but of all days today, when I'm trying to film this, I can't film that. But anyway, there you go. Okay guys, all the tanks are empty. We just had to label all the airline hoses with what tank they go to, so uh, I don't get them mixed up when I'm hooking the tanks back up to their specific airline hoses because it's a bit nightmare. So that's all ready to go. The tanks are all empty. We're just going to pour out the remaining water out of this tank and this tank out to the garden with a net. Whatever guppies the net catches, we put into the buckets, and then we're done, we can start drilling. This is on here again. It's now 2.37, we've been going about five hours. We're about to start drilling. Mental how long this has taken. <laughs> So we use a stencil that Adam's built and we've numbered which tanks uh, go on which side of the stencil to offset the bulkhead holes that are in the middle of the tanks where the two stands meet each other uh, because the bulkheads need to be offset from each other otherwise they will hit each other. So that's why uh, they're offset and we've got this stencil. So as you can see we've had to tip the stand on the side because we need to take the bottom shelf off this stand so I can get the sump low enough to the ground so all the tanks can drain through it. Now we drilled these shelves into this stand really well. There's bolts going this way, there's bolts going this way. And there's four legs, obviously. So to loosen this shelf off and take it off, it's going to be a big effort. 
and uh, I think Adam's run into a problem already because he hasn't done anything yet. Um, Paint? For some reason. And this is the last tank. It's now dark outside and pretty cold. Uh oh. Oh, hi. Power out. Last tank, we almost ruined it. Now guys, we're going to be editing this video into two parts because in my video editing software we're up to an over a 20 minute video. So we're going to do it over the next two weeks. Next week's video I'll be showing you guys setting up the entire system back up with the tanks finally drilled. So there you have it guys, what it's been like so far to get 12 tanks drilled, mental. Really hope you enjoyed that video and found it informative. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment and consider subscribing to the channel. I really would appreciate it. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this video up now. Thanks, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.